Hello, my name is Mike Bushrow from Team Rocket Scientists, and I'd like to present to you today an alternative to the original manufactured gripper to use for removing the bioluminescent samples from the glaciers. Now, with the current setup, as your ROV slides up until your gripper just grabs it, and you close the gripper, and then you rotate, you see that it starts trying to push the ROV out of position because it's rotating around the very center of the gripper, not around where the ring is. So if you take a different approach, you can try using one of these remote grippers from Harbor Freight, it's item number 94870, and they cost only $2. And it basically just clamps onto something. So, what you do is to take the handle apart with a flat blade screwdriver. plastic piece and a metal piece that you slide off the pin, pull off the plastic for the handle, cut the handle about here. At the other end, you slip off that part and you open up one of the jaws, once again with a flat blade screwdriver. And you'll find inside a little spring that helps keep the claws open. Now this spring is a little bit too stiff for the servos, so you go to Harbor Freight and buy a box of miscellaneous springs for $3. Take one of the smaller springs, cut it in half, and replace it and put the gripper back together again. Now once you have reassembled the shortened gripper, make an L bracket to hold one of the two servos, mount the servo in the middle here, and then use these sort of pipe clamps to clamp the handle of the gripper along the side there. Then you bolt the short end of the L bracket onto the whole bolt the short end of the L shape onto a second servo such that it pivots the entire assembly. That also makes it offset so that when this goes through the hole made in the C-shaped bracket that holds the second servo, it swings up and down as it rotates. This way, When your ROV approaches, You slide up to it, close the gripper on it, and now when you rotate, it pivots around the center point, and all your RV has to do is just lift up a little bit and pull back, and you have removed the bioluminescent sample. So this is less expensive to build, fairly easy to put together, and will work much more effectively at removing the bioluminescent sample from the J-shaped hooks that will be used in the competition.